If you are working on a really tight budget, and I'm talking about $400, you can actually get a PC that's going to perform really decent at 1080p. So if you want a starter PC where you can play games at 1080p with no issues, this one is going to be the right one for you. And if you have a bit of extra money to spend, I will explain to you how to make this PC even better at the end of the video. You will have the links to all of the components down below in the video description. And don't worry if you don't understand about PC components, I will explain what this PC is capable of running throughout the video. That being said, let's start. So for the CPU, we have the AMD Ryzen 5 5500 going for just $90. This is a 6 core 12 thread processor that is going to get the job done at 1080p and even 1440p depending on the graphics card. Remember, the most important part on a gaming system is the graphics card and not the CPU, but you will need a CPU that won't bottleneck your graphics card. However, the Ryzen 5 5500 will not bottleneck any of the graphics cards that I will mention on this video. Then for the motherboard, we have the Giga Byte B550M, the S3H Micro ATX motherboard. This one is going for $110, not ideal on this budget, but honestly, I didn't want to cut corners here. I wanted something that is decent and will give you some type of upgradeability down the line. So in the future, if you want to put a new CPU like the Ryzen 7 5700X, you can do it on this motherboard. And you also have a couple M.2 slots, which will help you out if you want more storage down the line. Then for the memory kit, we have the Silicon Power 16 gigs of RAM kit. This is just $30 and 16 gigs of RAM will be enough for 1080p gaming. Then for storage, we have the Silicon Power 512 gigs of Gen 3 SSD going for only $23. Honestly, 500 gigs is enough to get you started. However, down the line, if you need more storage because you download a bunch of games, you can always upgrade because you have an extra slot on your motherboard. And even if you want a terabyte now, you can spend the extra and get more storage. Then for the graphics card, and this is from the used market because at this price point, honestly, you wouldn't be able to get a brand new system that performs as well as this one. We have the MSI RX 580. This is an 8 gigs of VRAM graphics card that performs really similar to the GTX 1650 Super, but you get more VRAM. Now, if you know nothing about computers, this graphics card is able to perform really decent at 1080p, and you can even play at 4040p depending on the game. For example, Fortnite, you can play on low settings 1080p with an average of 238 FPS, which is really good considering you're only spending $400 on this system. But you also can play at 1440p low settings 160 plus FPS on average. So if you want a 1440p high refresh rate monitor for this particular game, you can actually play. But if you're going to buy a brand new monitor, then I wouldn't recommend you a 1440p one because you would be overspending your money. And I believe you are better off if you spend that extra money on GPU power. Then for a game like Cyberpunk 2077, which is a really high demanding title, you can play on medium settings at 45 FPS on average, which is decent. Remember, you're only spending $400 on this system, but I will explain to you how to make this PC a bit more expensive, but way better in terms of performance. So to recap, you can basically play every esports title like Valorant, Fortnite, CSGO, or easy to run games like Minecraft, Roblox, GTA 5, or even Red Dead Redemption 2, which is not that easy to run at 1080p with no issues. So if you like playing those games and you're working on a tight budget, you don't want to spend anything more than $400 on a system, I believe this one is going to be a nice starting point for you. Then for the case, we have two choices here between the Salman S2 ATX Mid Tower case and the Montec Air 100 ARGB Micro ATX case. Now, if you find this last one on a deal, right now it's going for 55 bucks, which is an insane deal. I recommend you buying this one 100% because you get four pre-installed RGB fans. It looks better in my opinion, but if it's not on sale anymore when you're watching this video and it's back to $100, then I recommend you the Salman S2, which has plenty of airflow for the price as well. And last but not least, the power supply, we have the Thermal Take Smart 500 Watt 80 Plus power supply. This is not the flashes out there. In fact, I usually don't recommend this power supply, but at this price point and with these PC components, you will have no issues with it. So of course, if you can afford a higher end power supply, by all means, go ahead and buy a better one. Now, the total price for this system is $417. 
Yes, I know you're $17 over budget, but please, I do not recommend you trying to downgrade any component here. So if you really want to keep the price down, the only thing you can downgrade is the case. Maybe you can buy the DIY PC F2. This one has a front mesh panel as well and a case on the front. $45, only $10 cheaper than the last one. But if you really want to save those $10, you can do this. However, it's not something I would recommend. But of course, it will depend on your budget. If you do this downgrade, the total price will be $407. And please do not keep downgrading the system if you already made this downgrade. And if you have a bit of extra money, like I said before for $470 you can upgrade both the graphics card and the power supply you can get the RX 5700 XT which is so much better than the RX 580 and I found this on eBay for $125 which is a really good price for this GPU it's going to give you around 45% more performance than the RX 580 and it's also a 1440p capable GPU really similar to the RTX 3060 so if you want to play at 1440p you will be able to run most titles with no issues of course depending on the settings but at 1080p there's no limit there will be no game that you can't run on high or ultra settings depending on the game 60 plus fps on average even the most high demanding titles like red dead redemption 2 where you will be able to achieve more than 100 fps on average on medium settings which is insane for under 500 dollars so if you make this upgrade it's gonna cost you either 470 bucks or 480 depending on the case that you go with and remember you will have all the links to these components down below in the video description so let me know in the comment section what's your budget i want to help you out and also if you're looking for a pro lpc on a tight budget because you don't want to build it yourself i highly recommend you watching my video about the best pro lpcs of the month you will have that one in the top right of the screen and honestly pro lpcs are also a great option especially if you don't want to build it yourself thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and i will see you on the next one